Hey everyone, RJ here with CB Tech, and today we will be unboxing the Shock Freedom Turbo XL. Let's get it started. So before I get started, I want to give a huge shout out and thanks to Shock for sending this phone out for unboxing, reviewing, testing, and all that kind of good stuff. So if you remember, in the past I did unbox the Shock freedom turbo xl however that one was the pre-release model and this right here is the full release model here so looking at the box here you will see it basically says the same thing that the other box said this is an all-in-one bundle okay this phone comes with everything that you need to get started wall charger 9h tempered glass protector four colorful back covers premium case protector extra long five foot usb cable also comes with headphones with hands-free and a car desk magnet holder. Now up here you'll see some more specs. It's got an edge-to-edge 5.7-inch HD display, a 13-megapixel plus 0.3-megapixel dual rear camera with an 8-megapixel front selfie camera, has a fast fingerprint sensor, quad-core 1.3 gigahertz, two graphic processing units running at 550 megahertz, two gigabytes of RAM, and 16 gigabytes of storage, spendable up to 144 gigs via SD card and Android 8.1 right out of the box, fully unlocked GSM smartphone. Now in the back here, you'll see some more specs here. I then hit on some of these, so I will just kind of look around here and see what I didn't hit on. But the 5.7 inch Arch 2.5D edge to edge tempered Dragon Trail glass display, it has a 3000 milliamp hour battery, has Built-in gyroscope for virtual augmented reality as well as VR videos, GPS plus FM radio plus Bluetooth. Has strong inner structure, 100% made of steel. USB micro with OTG V2 technology, 8.1 Oreo, pure Android experience, no adware, shareware, or bloatware. Let's go ahead and open this box up here and just look at the phone. We'll go ahead and power it on, set it up, all that kind of good stuff. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of here just like that so that's all that comes in there and all the goodies is right here so you got your freedom turbo excel user manual right here also got your warranty policy right there as well now all this stuff here i will leave in its packaging but right here are your earbuds so i'll leave that in there got your wall charger here as well the phone's right here we'll pull it out to the side and of course your micro usb charging cable there as well as your little magnet here for your vent and stuff like that uh, and also here you get your colors so let's go ahead and take these out of here so you got three colors to choose from got this really bright vibrant yellow you have this red and this blue and the back of the phone here is a really nice kind of like a glossy black color which is really awesome as well and under here you do get your screen protector as well as your battery here which is a pretty massive size battery so let's go ahead put it all back in the box and uh, we'll look at the phone okay so got everything cleaned up here and the back covers off to put the battery in and everything and here of course is the case that it comes with a very durable style case i do like this case now of course up front here you'll see some of the specs i've already run off if you want to pause it and read it again you can but yeah there you go now in the back here of course is your battery so here's your sd card slot sim 1 is micro sim and sim 2 is nano sim so we'll go ahead and snap back on the back cover here get this all into place and snap back in there uh, make sure that everything is closed up completely which it was not nowhere near all the way closed up uh, but the back cover here got kind of a glossy shiny look and it is a fingerprint magnet so we'll get like that down there get that all cleaned off there and yeah really nice glossy back here on this phone now in the back here of course has your shock logo there your fingerprint scanner your dual camera setup with flash on the right here of course is your power button as well as your volume rocker on top still some more snaps a 3.5 millimeter headset jack on the left we have nothing at all on the bottom we do have a micro usb charging port as well as a microphone and your bottom firing speaker on the front here of course is your front facing camera your flash and your receiver pull out the front protector there and there's your 5.7 inch display let's go ahead and give this phone a boot up and we'll go ahead and go to some of the settings and everything so uh yeah shock 
powered by Android. So I'll get this phone here all set up and I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so the phone is set up now and ready to go. And one thing that I want to make mention of is I can tell a little bit of a difference between this one here and the pre-production model that I had. This one here seems to be a bit smoother already uh, just by, you know, using it for a few minutes here. And I know it's not littered down with apps, nothing like that. It's pretty much just bone stock right now. But it just seems to be, you know, a bit a bit smoother and everything else. Let's go ahead and check out that fingerprint scanner there. By pressing it, works just fine. Uh, works every single time you press it, and it's very responsive, no problems there. Got your Google over here. And just the overall, you know, the way the phone feels is just very smooth feeling. It just the thing glides into place, and it just seems to be really good and pretty solid. Now, looking here at the app drawer, you won't see a whole lot. You got an FM radio. You also have your shock TV, a sound recorder, and that's about it. Pretty much stock everything else. Now, going back home here and looking around, got your drop down here, of course. Typical stuff, your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, flashlight, all that stuff there. Airplane mode, cast your screen. You can edit those as well. Go into the settings here for a minute. I won't spend too much time here, but I will go through a few things here in the phone. Network and internet, you got your Wi-Fi, data, hotspot, SIM cards, VPN, airplane mode, connected devices here, you got Bluetooth, cast, and you got your printing services there. Go down here to your battery, you got your last full charge, screen, usage since full charge, your standby, intelligent power saving, battery saver, and battery percentage there. Now going back out of here into display, you'll see you have your mirror vision, brightness level, that's a brightness, wallpaper, advance for your sleep, auto rotate, navigation bar, so you can actually hide your notification bar. Also change the back home and recents button around if you so wish. But we're going to leave the back button on the left. Font size, display size, and screensaver. So scrolling down here to storage, you will see out of 16 gigs, 4.65 gigabytes has been used. We're doing 11.35 gigabytes free. You've got your Jura speed there. You've got your security and location. So the fingerprints has already been set up, got a smart lock there as well, and stuff of that nature. So going on down here to system, and you'll see about freedom about the phone, Freedom Turbo, and this phone does have Android 8.1.0 out of the box with May 5th, 2018 security patch. No word this phone will get Pi. I have no idea. I guess I'll have to just wait and see what happens there. Going down into gestures, you got your jump to camera on or off, and that's about it there. So going back home here, going to the camera for a brief moment to see if there's any differences in here. Got your photo mode, video mode. There's a little swipe toggle here or button you can press. Goes to some effects like blackboard, negative, whiteboard, posterized, mono, fresh, aqua, and sepia. So really nice stuff there. Like I said, photo mode, video mode, face beauty. You also got your blur mode here as well, mono, panorama, and you also got a pro mode. Uh, so pretty nice stuff there, mono mode, and all that really nice stuff there. Now these three buttons up top here, got your HDR mode, GPS location, face detection, you can preview size of 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. Picture size, of course, goes up to a 13 megapixel, and you also got your self timer. You have anti-flicker, capture, and zero shutter, which I like using zero shutter uh, for some reason or another. And going over here to video mode, right here, same buttons. You can record in 1080p, 720p, 480p, or 288p right there. Microphone, turn that on or off, and you got electronic image stabilization. So, been able to record in full 1080, you know, it's pretty cool there as well. Now let's go ahead and flip around to the front camera to see what kind of, you know, okay, the, the flash was already on. So if I can push the button there. So right there I am. Go into photo mode and we'll go down here. You got your GPS location, face detection, preview size, picture size is 8 megapixels, self timer, anti flicker, and also zero shutter there as well. Now go in here into video and push in the same three buttons. You can record in max 480 so max 480p in the front camera and 288p i was hoping for at least 720 but that's just the way it is so it's about all there is in the camera settings and it's just a basically a stock phone now these phones here are really nice little devices now if you're planning on you know playing really heavy games and stuff like that then you know this phone may not be for you 
um, as I have played some games on the pre-production model and while it played most games fine once you got into the really graphic intense games that's where it kind of struggled a little bit but this is an entry level you know budget device okay it's fully unlocked for GSM carriers AT&T T-Mobile and all their NVNOs like Cricket Metro uh, some, you know, all those carriers like that and I'm seeing these phones pop up more on websites like walmart.com, bestbuy.com, and prices are around 149 to 159 Somewhere in that area, you can go on there and check it out and see if this is a phone that you might be interested in. But I will be using this phone. I'm going to set my SIM card in here and use it for a little while and just see how I do like it. We're going to take the cameras out as well, see how photo quality is and good lighting, low lighting, all that kind of good stuff. So... This is the Shock Freedom Turbo XL. Really nice, you know, unlocked budget device. Comes in an all-in-one bundle. If this was helpful and informative any at all, hit that like button. Any questions you may have, leave it below, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Also hit that bell for further videos and notifications as they come through. So thank you for watching. Y'all have a good one, and we'll see y'all next time.